Hello, this is Ashley Talent, and I am a family nurse practitioner student at Arkansas State University. I first want to thank Mrs. Otisha Hadley for her guidance with my quality improvement project. My study is called Rate of Depression Screenings for Adult Primary Care Patients. Depression is a common mental disorder that impacts people globally without discrimination against age, sex, or nationality. This disability can contribute to other diseases. Treatment of depression can improve an individual's social, work, and domestic activities. The National Institute of Mental Health states that the, in the United States, there is an estimated 17.3 million adults, 18 and older, with depression representing 7.1% of all U.S. citizens. The United States Preventative Task Force, USPSTF, recommends screening for depression in the general adult population using a valid screening tool, such as the Patient Health Questionnaire, or PHQ-9. The purpose of this quality improvement study is to compare depression screening rates with valid screening tools of patients 18 years and older at primary care visits in a rural central Arkansas primary care clinic to the 2017 national study findings of 4.2% of adults being screened for depression in the primary care setting, regardless of recommendations that screening be a part of routine primary care. My objectives for the study were to analyze the adherence to the USPTF recommendations for depression screenings in adults 18 years and older using a valid screening tool and to determine and compare the depression screening adherence percentage to 4.2% adherence in the 2017 national study in the primary care setting. The method used in this study was a randomized retrospective chart review of 100 patients to determine if they were screened for depression using a valid screening tool during January 1st through October 31st, 2019. A selection report was produced to the clinic electronic health record with specific dates of service for a total of 477 patient charts and were then randomly selected for specific data. A data collection tool was used to gather the information for gender, race, age, payment method, diagnosis, and if the patient was screened for depression using the PHQ-9. The population for this study included adults 18 years and older with a CPT code of 96127 and excluded all patients under the age of 18. The findings for my study were that the rural Central Arkansas Primary Care Clinic adhered to the USPTF guidelines in 22% of the charts reviewed compared to 4.2% in the 2017 national study findings. The clinic that was researched was 17.8% above the 2017 national average for depression screening of adults in primary care. Evidence from this study concurred that not all providers are following USPTF recommendations for screening for depression. There is a need to educate providers on the importance of depression screening on an annual or routine basis to evaluate adults for new onset or changes in severity of depression. The rural Central Arkansas Clinic studied may have had a higher adherence for depression screenings because of increased provider awareness, advances in EMR checklists, and reimbursement for screenings from private insurance, Medicaid, and Medicare. Limitations of this study include a small sample size. It may be beneficial to include a larger sample size over a longer period of time to further investigate depression screening of adults in primary care clinics. This concludes my presentation on the rate of depression screenings for adult primary care patients. Thank you.